Hey guys, Abhinav here. I'm a 3D artist working in Weplin. And in this video, I will start a guide that will help increase your basic understanding of 3D asset and animation and the pipeline used to create 3D asset. In this video series, I'll show you guys how to create a realistic looking office environment in 3D. I'll use assets that are created very easily and help you in achieving a final output. In this video, I'll start by explaining the various stages in the 3D production pipeline and give you guys a basic understanding. So let's start with pre-production. This is the first and the most important stage in the 3D production pipeline. This is the primary planning stage and it helps in setting up guidelines for the rest of the project. The main objective of this stage is to gather material and references that will help paint a clear image of the final output before starting the production process. Next is 3D modeling. This is where the assets, object or being are created from scratch in a 3D modeling software such as Autodesk Maya or Blender. Next is UV mapping. After modeling the asset, the modeler has to unwrap the 3D asset into 2D coordinates. In simpler words, just to achieve a correct texture plane the 3D asset coordinates must be flattened out into a 2D space that is called a UV plane and this process is called UV unwrapping. Next comes texturing and shaders. This is where our grayscale 3D model is given its desired look and feel. The textures give it the desired color gradient and details and the shader gives it the extra details such as opacity that is transparency, its reflectiveness and its depth. Next comes rigging. This stage only applies to the assets or models that require bones or some sort of a restrictive structure to animate. Here the asset is given its bones and skeleton which is then used to animate it. Next comes animation. In this stage the artist uses poses and keyframes to create the illusion of life thus creating animation. Different sequential poses are created with keyframes on them which are then played to create the illusion of animation. Next comes lighting. This is where light sources are put into a scene to illuminate it and set the mood for the project. This stage is also of a lot of importance as lighting in a scene can change the way the scene is understood. For example, a dimly lit environment can assert a very negative impact on a subject that is to be shown happy or cheerful. Next comes rendering. In this stage, all the 3D production is converted into a 2D image or a sequence of images which is then composited into a video file or a file of the end user's preference. This can be a very time consuming process and hence the render time should always be considered with a bit of a cushion. But the process isn't complete yet. And this render output will be a raw output that will help to minimize the time taken to alter the project if and when any change appears. Next is compositing. This is where artificial effects are composited on top of the render output. These can be color correction effects like lightning strikes or particle effects like sand, dust, sparks, etc. This stage is used to give the output a finishing touch or make it look like a finished product. The project is then pushed to the final render stage where the completed product of all the stages is rendered into a video or animated file that is used in the final project. This will be all for this video. But in the coming videos of this video series, I will give you guys a detailed explanation of all the stages used in the 3D production pipeline. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.